another Christmassy video. Today, what we're gonna do, because there's nothing here, so I know you're all thinking, what's going on, nothing's here. I have been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that I knew I wouldn't have time to make tutorials and videos for y'all. So I'm gonna show you all of that dolly goodness. Plus, I had to say a very big, from the heart, love you guys, subscriber thank you, and appreciation for all the new and all the ones who have been with me from the beginning. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. I wanted to do a proper thank you. I want to do something special for y'all. I just don't know what to do yet so if y'all have any suggestions please let me know I want it to be something good I want it to be something special because I want y'all to know just how much you mean to me that's not just something I say it's something I truly mean y'all are the best and I love 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 sharing my dolly goodness with y'all and having you join the great big dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here with fun and love and no stress and everybody being welcome that is my goal to give y'all dolly goodness every day because because sometimes life can be really hard. So with all that said, y'all know the drill. I'm gonna get on into all the Dolly projects I've been working on and I wanna share with y'all. So here we go. First, something small to show y'all. You don't have to have any money to make Dolly cute things. I have made all of these. Everyone is different. I don't use patterns because to me, Snowflakes are all different, so I want mine to be all different. And I just think they're so cute. All you need is a piece of paper and some scissors, and almost everybody has that. And if you don't have white paper, you could use colored paper, you could use magazines, you could use just about anything you want to make these. I have made so many snowflakes over the years. It's one of my favorite things to do, and sometimes they don't always turn out right, but I like to keep them anyway, like the little halvesies and like these half moon shapes, because you could put these, see? Like there, that would be so cute. Now these two, I covered in tape because I didn't want them to, you know, get ruined. So I'm gonna cover all of these eventually in tape. And that is also something that everybody has usually around the house. You can have all this snowflakey loveliness for no money at all. And it's something fun for the dollies that you can make in any size. Next thing I wanted to show you is this girl, ha! I made this little outfit out of some fabric that I got as a fat quarter, I believe from Walmart a few years ago. And I'd never used it and I always really loved it. I thought it was super cute. See, I made it with snaps. You know me, loving the snaps and little puffy arms. I just thought this was the cutest little ensemble for PJs for your dolly. Look at how cute it is. And I don't use any patterns, y'all. I just do this by hand. If I make a pattern, I do it myself and I just lay the dowel down on like a piece of paper and try trace around her if I make a pattern at all. So these are things you can do really simply. I made the little hair bow with the little snap headband as well and the little palms I put on and I just, I think it's so cute. I used elastic in the arms and elastic in the legs and elastic up here at the waist. And it's just so super cute. I just absolutely love it. I just made it up as I went and she's one of my favorite girls. She's so vintage 50s looking. I just love her look. I fixed her up in a dolly makeover video. If y'all didn't see that, I'll insert the little thumbnail so you can look it up if you wanna see what she looked like before. This girl I just thought was so super cute and 50s-ified and I just had to have her in my Christmassy video. So I put her in this little outfit that I had made to share with y'all. So I hope you enjoy it. Next girl. Girl, ha, pinky, ha, is this Treculora? I know this is not very Christmassy to some people, but to me, it is in my world anyway. I just couldn't resist. I just had to make her something special. I believe this is the bite in the park. Draculaura, if I'm not mistaken. I have so many Draculauras, that's terrible. But anyway, I love Draculaura, obviously, because she's pink, pinky pink. And I made her this adorable little ensemble with the arm cuffs. Now, these are separate from the outfit, it's three pieces. It's the little shorts, the little top, well it's actually four I guess with the headband. Headband, arm cuffs, little top, little shorts. And I didn't put any shoes on her because I figured, you know, she's sleepy. Being a PJ girl, she didn't need them. I did do snaps. Y'all know me, loving the snaps. Can't resist a good snap. Now these little cuffs, I just cut them out and I coated the edges in like a fray check because I didn't want to have to sew them under because I thought they looked good flouncing out like this. I don't do that very often. I like to have hemmed edges, but on this, I thought it was okay because it's just an arm cuff. Then I put the little palm balls on and I made the little sweetheart deal here with the little tiny tiny button and I just thought that was so cute and then I added the little puffs on the legs and then I made the little 
little bow and now this is just elastic and I just sewed it together at the back there as you can see and put it around her head and then I sewed the bow to it as well then I glued with my fabric glue the one I love the best the Loctite vinyl fabric glue the little palms on because they're so hard to sew that's the only thing that I like skimp on as far as that goes I always do snaps I always do good closures and finishings that's just who I am because I'm a seamstress so I love things to be you know more professional and I just thought I couldn't resist I had to do something pinky kind of related for Christmas so this is what I did and I hope y'all enjoy it because I had so much fun making it and I really want to do a tutorial for y'all so if there's anything in this video that you really like that you want to see in-depth tutorial I'm gonna try and do that stuff after the new year so if you have one that's like your favorite and that you really want to see let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make it happen for y'all. And next I made this girl. Oh, I love my scenes. But if y'all remember this from my Dollar Tree mini haul and this also, I said you could make a <laughs> Here's the bells. Jingle Bell headband, which I did for this girl. This was a sock. I'm gonna put her down and show you what I have left. From the two giant socks, I have this piece front and back up to here where I cut it. And then this piece, I just have the front and then some of the back and then some of the front. So I have about that much of this. And I have this little toe piece that I was thinking of turning into like a little beanie hat. Not sure, didn't get around to it yet. And then these little scraps, two pieces is all I have left. I thought about making this into a little scarf and I can do a tutorial. I can totally do that, but it'll have to be after the new year if y'all wanna see it, a simple little scarfy tutorial for your dollies. This, all I did was cut it out and make a tube and sew it up the back. I didn't hem the top because I didn't need to. The bottom, I did hem, if you can see my stitches. I don't know if you can. I try and hide them pretty good because I like sewing and I like, you know, things looking professional. The arm cuffs, I hemmed the top and bottom of both and then I just sewed them at the back. See, this one's on the inside. You can hardly see where I stitch because I like to, you know, do the best I can to make it less visible so it looks more real and realistic. And now this literally was just a little scrap and I thought it looked cute as a little necktie. And now this, the bell headband, strung the bells on a bread tie and then bent the ends under and then I glued it to this piece of lace to make a headband. And that's all I did, super simple. If you wanna see how to do that, I can do that, but it's real, real simple. Not something that's complicated that you would need a tutorial for, but if you want one, I can totally do it. Just let me know. This girl is my chic winter girl and I love how it kind of like goes around her and it says winter cheer, little bare faces down by like her thighs and knees. I think that's adorable. And I just thought I like things the way I like them. If y'all don't like this style, I totally understand, but I just thought this was super cute. I was gonna make more of a sweater and then my brain just thought this would make a cute little tight dress with having this dark at the top. So that's what I did. Hope you enjoy her. I love my scenes. Jingle bells. <laughs> so cool. On to the next thing. Next thing I made out of the socks was socks. <laughs> now this girl, this outfit, I think I made last year or maybe the year before. This little bag, if you saw my tutorial, I made that this year. But these socks I made this year and I just thought they were super cute. I couldn't get her little heels on with these socks on, but there are plenty of shoes that will fit her with the socks. I just didn't have the time to go searching for some shoes for this video, y'all. I've got so much going on and I wanna do so much for y'all. So I'm trying to get it all together with family stuff and you know, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I used flat lace and ruffled it to the heavens and then sewed it on here. These are all sewed, all hand stitched. You can see my little stitches at the back there and they're not perfect as in where this lines up, but I think that adds to part of the charm. I think it's cute. I could have certainly done it to where they were more even. This one had less or this one had more of the burgundy, but I didn't. I don't feel the need to make everything, you know, completely symmetrical with stuff like that. I just thought they were cute and I think they go adorably with this outfit that I made a couple years ago. I just think this girl, this Daphne Minton is so beautiful and I love her in this outfit. I was gonna make her another outfit this year. I took this outfit off of her and I just thought, no, I love this outfit on her. Almost always gonna stay in this outfit because I love her so much. And I have, I think, two more Daphne's. I'm not sure. I know I have at least one, but I just loved her freckling, her coloring, because this is my colors, y'all. Love, love, love it. And stuff like this is just so cute. It's just one little thing and it just sets something off so adorably. And like I said, with a gift bag, it's just so cute together. And I just love it. And I love sharing all my silly dolly goodness with y'all. And then, brrr, ha, one of the things I'm most happy with that I made is this onesie. It's so cute. I love 
love, love, love it. It was so simple too. I did take some pictures of how I pinned it. I will insert those so y'all can see. And like I said, if you want tutorials, I can totally do them. Just let me know. But this, it was simple, but not. Like it's not easy to sew this stuff and get it just right. To toot my own horn this time, I think I did a really good job. The stitching on the back looks great. The little butt tushy area looks great. There's no like gapping, gaping. And I did it all along the inside leg. At the bottom here, I was gonna finish it off and then I just, I liked how that looked. I don't know why, I usually that stuff bothers me, but I liked how that looked and I put the little palms on and I thought it was so cute. Then I did the sweetheart neckline. You can kind of see how I stitched it, but not because I put the little palms over it. And this edge, it just rolled under and looked so cute, so I left it. Now sometimes that will happen. You won't need to do anything, things will just fall together. I made this out of a scrap. It was just a scrap piece and I put the little palms on it and I just thought it was so cute. And then the little headband, it rolled together and it just looks so cute to me. And I put the little palms on it and I thought, yes, this is perfect for her. She is the wheelchair made to move girl if you're wondering who this model is. And the same thing with the neck cuff, just kind of fell together. I just love when things do that. And I just think like, just look at her. Isn't she adorable in her little onesie? It just, it fits her perfectly. Now I did pin it to this body. For all intents and purposes, it should fit perfectly, but I just think she looks so festive and so cute. I cannot wait to have a whole shelf of just Christmassy girls with all my cute little one of a kind fashions that I make for them. I hope you enjoyed this. I love this one. This one is one of my favorites besides the Draculaura. I love them all. It's hard to pick favorites, but I just really love the look of this and I love how it turned out and I'd never done a onesie jumpsuit like this before so super happy with how it turned out and last but certainly not least ah, this girl my plan was to make her into an angel and I didn't get around to it I didn't have enough time I ran out of time but I'm definitely going to do it it's just so angelic with this white hair and this beautiful face she just looks like an angel of me so with this I'd been wanting to make for y'all a little apron for the dolls it's so easy and so cute just look at how cute this is now this is like recycled or salvaged or reclaimed, whatever you wanna call it. This was from an ornament, it's like raffia rope. This was just a square of fabric. I had some fabric that was all like rectangles and squares in holiday like form, had little sayings and little like scenes on it. And this one I just thought was so cute and it was the perfect square size with the hems. I put this cotton embroidered crocheted lace on it and I just thought that was so homey and cute. And then I added the little green ballies for a little extra something. Her scarf on her neck is just a piece of scrap. That's all it is. I didn't really do anything to it besides tie it around her neck in this little fashion. And she just happened to be wearing all white because she's one of those, you know, make it dolls so where you color them and stuff which I'm not gonna do any of that. But anyway, I made the little bow as well out of another little scrap and then I just popped it in her head with a little pin, as you can see, a little pearl pin. So that is her. I think she looks so cute and festive. And again, this was all pretty easy. You just turn under and then, you know, sew or glue, however you feel, your little embellishments to it. And it just, it looks so cute. Like, look at it, guys. Is this not the most adorable little thing? And it was just three little things. And this was a scrap. This I did have to do something to this I really didn't and this probably took me like 30 minutes to make this total so something you can do in a day and make your dolly festive and cute and I didn't even change her outfit this is what she came in and she looks perfect so love it I love sharing this stuff with y'all and I really hope that y'all love it too well, y'all, that is all for this year's edition of my OOAK custom dolly outfits, dolly goodness, dolly fashions, whatever you want to call it. And if you've been with me through the whole video to this point, I have to say huge hugs and holiday Christmas love to all of you lovely subscribers and watchers out there. And I also have to say thank you, thank you so very much for being with me and for watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having a great, 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 great dolly day and Christmas time too. I hope that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say, great big, huge, 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 huge holiday Christmas subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. I can never say enough just how much y'all mean to me, just how special you are, and just how wonderful it feels to know that you've come along the journey, joined the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here, and you have fun sharing in the Dolly goodness that I try to put out there for y'all. So I have to say thank you, thank you so, so much to all you awesome subscribers and watchers out there. Y'all truly are the best. If, oh, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Come and join the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here because we would love to have you because I do everything in my power to give y'all Dolly fun, Dolly love, no stress, happiness, and all the dolly goodness you can handle right here. So if you wanna become part of that, see the tutorials, see the vlogs, the shorts, makeovers, the thrift hauls, and all the good stuff that I can get into with y'all, come along and join us, cause like I already said, we would love to have you. And absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always, always welcome here. Well y'all, we did it, yay! We made it through this medium-ish video of my little crafty stuff, fashions I like to make, and appreciation, truly, for each and every one of you watching, all of my subscribers out there. Love you guys so very much. So y'all know what I'm gonna say. Happy, happy dolling, and Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Happy Holiday, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope it's happy, fun, and joyous. Also, bye y'all!